Meantime, a historic transfer of State Highway to a city street is happening this week. It's a really big thing for people who live and work in that area. ODOT will officially give ownership of 82nd Avenue over to PBOT come Wednesday. Elise Haas went out to the community to find out why this change means so much to the residents along that dangerous stretch of road. What did they tell you, Elise? Well, 82nd Avenue is a seven mile long high crash corridor, and there are major implications for moving this over into city hands. But at the same time, there's going to be a lot of money that's now pumped into it for some long awaited safety improvements. It's a labor of love. It's every day you get out there, and it's just part of living in this corridor in the 82nd and Powell area. Todd Henderson has adopted a block in southeast Portland, picking up trash along 82nd Avenue. We try to keep the intersection looking as good as possible. Residents have long advocated for the city to take over this state managed road, also known as Highway 213. Finally, it's becoming a reality this week. We think it's wonderful. I think I speak for the neighbors here that everyone is talking about it, what a difference it should make. Neighbors want Peabot to make this high crash corridor safer. It's a dangerous road. They needed to reduce the speeds. They need to uh, do a better job of uh, regulating over here. I think they will. According to Peabot, in the last 15 years, there have been around 20 deaths on 82nd Avenue, including last year when two pedestrians were hit and killed the same month while trying to cross the street. And that really was, I think, the moment where the community said enough is enough. We need to make some change here. Walk sign is on. Peabot says the city is splitting up the improvements into two phases. The first phase will use $80 million to repair pavement, install better lighting, and add pedestrian crossings and new sidewalk ramps. Generally just trying to make 82nd Avenue more functional for the people who live, work, and use that street on a day-to-day -day basis. Not just those in cars, but those who need to cross the street, get to school, get to another business, etc. The second phase will use more than $100 million to make additional improvements based on community input from people just like Todd. You're going to see the same kind of thing that happened on Foster Road. And when Foster Road took control of that road, and there was a lot of protests, a lot of people were not happy about that. But what a difference as a pedestrian, as a cyclist. It's going to be, a, it, I think it'll make a difference in the long run. And if you're interested in sharing your thoughts and ideas for improvements for um, 82nd Avenue, then I've included a link to sign up for PBOT's newsletter on this project. You can find that link at the bottom of my article at coin.com. Live in Southeast Portland, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News.